After suffering a humiliating defeat at the hands of mere peasants, Invincio hides out in nearby ruins licking his wounds. Contemplating what to do next, he realizes that he cannot work alone and must build an army. In hopes of recruiting troops, Invincio travels around Swadia, visiting village after village. Welcome to the humble village of Aida, have you come to trade? No, I need to enlist some able-bodied folk. We are but simple villagers. I will pay handsomely for each recruit. Handsomely you say, very well, I shall gather the villagers. Very well. Very well. Very well. Very well. Very well. Very well. Agreed. The elder of each village permits Invincio to recruit until his army numbers 100. Now with a large army, he returns to Dirixene to exact his revenge. Stopping just outside the village, Invincio makes camp and readies his body and mind. My body is ready. An assault is launched on Dirixene and the village is raised. Invincio travels throughout Rodic territory, looting, pillaging and raising every village that he comes across. Soon he grows bored and fancies tackling a bigger and grander target, a Rodic castle. To arms. Take the walls. Take the castle. Joining his peasant army in assaulting the castle, Invincio seriously underestimated their combat effectiveness against a trained militia of defenders. The battle was a complete and utter defeat. Invincio had to sound the retreat. Retreat. Fall back. Fall back. Once again finding himself hiding in ruins, Invincio realized that he needed to actually train an army first. He set up a training camp not far from Urjayan Castle and began training. An opportunity to put them to the test revealed itself. Engaging the Rodus Count's men in battle, Invincio's newly trained army made short work of them. Besieging Urjayan Castle for the second time, Invincio was a lot more confident in his troops. Forward, press the attack. Unfortunately, at the start of the battle, he took a stray Rodic bolt to the head which knocked him unconscious. Avenge me. However, his troops fought on. They slowly gained ground and took the walls. Followed by the courtyard. Eventually, every last defender was killed and the castle was taken. Admiring his newly acquired castle, Invincio wondered what to do next. His fledgling kingdom of Keldon needed land to grow. There were options available to him. Form alliances with neighboring kingdoms. Make peace with the Rodex. Engage in trade. No, he knew exactly what he was going to do. War. 